All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, it's not been a very videoing content day, I'm afraid. Uh, it's just been mad. Obviously, I started early this morning. Uh, I got to work for like 10 to 6. When I got here, wagon was already here, so I straight away got him loaded. He left at about 7. Um, come in, had a cup of tea. Then we started mucking out straight away, cleaning all feeders out. Uh, but uh, then we got one side done, then one, once that got done, the other wagon turned up, so we ended up loading that other wagon. Um, then he went, then we mucked the other side out. Um, it was all, it's not, like, it's been flat out, so I'm not here till Tuesday next week, so we've got a lot of jobs to get done. Uh, finished off the field, there's a bit of water to do, we've got a leak, a bit of bedding up to do, just finishing off. Uh, then I've just done the machinery tour, put a little bit in for today because I'm I haven't really done much um but that'll be coming Saturday and Sunday uh yeah so I just want to say sorry guys it's not been a very good um filming day today for content really so get us back to a normal day on Tuesday where I, I just feel like you know because I'm away for the next three days um I've been trying to get jobs done and we've got pigs well pigs aren't coming in till five now uh, um because there was stuck on the m1 or a1 or whatever which one it was morning guys how we doing uh happy friday eight o'clock in yorkshire uh well i started at about 10 to 6 wagon was here we've emptied one side you can see um my dad's just scraping out the other side ready for the next load uh i'm just um, just cleaning troughs out Use this just to just give it a good scrape in case there's any any dry food locked in a trough and just uh, just clean it out by hand. Then we're gonna muck out muck out this area. I'll try and get a video. Um, so yeah, it's been a busy morning. Then pigs are coming. Uh, we're getting some wieners this afternoon. I think I think we're getting twelve hundred. So yeah, we'll hopefully get this shed mucked out and. Um, prepped ready for next week um what else was there, there was something else i had to say uh yeah that's about it really we'll get this shed mucked out so it's going to be a busy friday then obviously i'm going to scotland tomorrow so i'll try and get i'll try and film some machinery around the farm to just to fill fill in saturday and sunday so I, I like doing these videos every day and i'll do a little video when i'm in edinburgh um, I think we're doing some the Highland Games as well, so that should be all good fun. Yeah, so so the next wagon should be about two hours away, about ten o'clock. I'll will get here. I'll try and film us loading. If not, it's just a bit 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 busy getting them on wagon. So I've got nowhere to put my phone. I need a GoPro really, but can't afford one. So right, guys, I best get some work done. I'll see you soon. Have a good Friday. Just on my mucking out now. Done. Done two. Just a, definitely a two man job. I've got a grey pat side out and grey down there. Round there. If I'd put it in the middle so it's easier for my dad to, to get it on in the bucket on the Terex. And he'll put it on a muck heap out there. Just on last pen now. In record time. We're all mucked out. Taking us about an hour to do eight pens. Um, so yeah, so we've mucked them all out. And there's just a bit of water, watery stuff I need to rush into the middle of the passage raven. And that's done. And we just need to get ready to move these pigs out when he gets back with wagon. And I need to check the field actually for water. But yeah, we're cracking on. I want quad to check the the drinkers venue on the new um, huts outside. Uh, we've had a bit of a leak. The float is stuck down. Uh, yeah, stuck down, so it thinks that it needs water. So, but it's not in the right place, so it's just letting water out the top there and it's just running down. And it must have been running all night looking at that bugger. But nothing you can do, we'll sort it out. Well, we were just booking out and we were like, oh, I wonder what them new tanks are doing. Um, so, yeah, so 
Oh, never mind. We'll sort that out once I pick a drink a bit of water. We'll just bend the float down. I'll turn it the other way. But anyway, it is what it is. Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, I haven't done much filming today. I've just been real busy. Uh, obviously, moved them thousand pigs. Uh, then we've got mucks out and we had a meeting at one. So, yeah, both sides. Uh, I'll flip you around. Both sides are mucked out, swept out, ready to go. Um, so, next thing to do is uh, wait for me. I need to ring somebody and find out what time these wieners are coming for outdoor. I will try and film them. It's just we've been at flat out this morning. I, I haven't done any filming really today, so sorry guys. Well, I'll try, try and make up to it this afternoon. Hey guys, just uh, cut this bale open a little bit and I've done one through there. I'm just going to put a bit of straw around these drinkers, so a bit more of a step. Um, and just a bit around the barriers when they come. Same as, same as this pen here. Same again, just around the drinkers. Just around pens. Uh, they're coming up four now, they're supposed to be here up two. So it's going to be all ma mad, manic when they come. I thought I'd show you this five for a plough because I'm coming towards the end of the day. Um, them pigs are not coming till five now, so I've got some other jobs to do in the office. So today's not really been a good day for filming, so we're moving pigs this morning, mucking out. Uh, they're meeting, and obviously the pigs aren't coming till five now. But I'll just do a quick insight what's gonna we're going to get this weekend, so I've done a, like a machinery tour. Um, this is a plough, five for a, I don't know what year it is. Ben's in, you've got two rams. One makes it turn over, see so it's reversible, and one makes it the, 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 the width of the plough either narrower or wider. Then you can change your board for, to what tyres you've got on the back of a tractor. Um, let's see. Oh, it's Rob Corner, but anyway, that's it. And you can, we've had, had an extra furrow on it because it was a four furrow, but you, we've put an extra fifth one on it. This is our combine header, seven and a half metres. Obviously, when you get into the field, you drop it, drop it off, and you, you get your combine square to that and that. Then you pick it up, you connect your PTO, then the combine's got an umbilical cord. What you push onto that, and it, it's like the hydraulic, hydraulics and electrics. Yeah. And that's for combine now i do need to get this out and show you but it's just not a very nice day today it's a lexium 570 plus class and it is i think it's an 06 model she's an old girl we had all belts changed changed on the last year this is auto contour this one uh all the knives but um you see this here that, that's the auto contour, so that tells you, the, tells the combine how low the header is and how high, you know, you've got different settings for your oil seat, rape and wheat. Uh, there's the auger up back at spins and crashes the, it wraps it round, then feeds it into there, into the combine, then it goes into the combine. Fingers. This is, a, I think I've shown you this, on a, this is this is what we bought at the York Auction Centre. This is what we're going to use to get pig feed out of silos. Instead of the, because of some of our bins, like that one, what don't have like um, a chute to take the food out. So what we're going to do is put it underneath it, put the loader up the end of, end of the conveyor, then tip it into the wagon one that sits full. Oh, there's fast trap looking lovely. Oi, shh. So yeah, well, I'll I'll do a review, a proper review when we get combine out. When we need to check it over. So, hey, hey, Baxt, be quiet. So yeah, I'll. Um, I'm gonna go into office now. I've got a bit of work to do, but it's not been a very long video today. I'm I'm sorry, guys. Oh yeah, have a good weekend. Uh, keep liking and subscribing, guys. Let me grow my channel. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.